GCSAA TV recently traveled to the Rim Golf Club in Payson, Arizona to speak to Certified Superintendent Justin Ruiz about maintaining a course in an arid region. The Rim relies on effluent water and water conservation to supplement a scant 21 inches of rain per year and limited access to public water. In the summertime, since we're last on the list, on the priority list, everybody else gets water and then we're the last ones to get it. In the summertime, it's all basically used up, we'll get a little bit left over and then we go through all of our storage. Depending on if the monsoons are later or earlier, that's when, uh, that's when we start to sweat, is when the monsoons don't come on time, we start getting to the course, we start counting our days, we get 30 days left of water, 15 days left of water, um, and we start crossing our fingers hoping that it's going to rain. We'll get, I would say, half of our rain in the monsoon season and the other half is in the winter time and we'll get about 21 inches on average, about 50% in the monsoon season. It's usually short bursts. Um, sometimes we can have three inches all in a few hours. Ruiz points to low population and tight water management as stressors to his water budget. The sanitary district only can, they process about a million gallons a day, and uh, if we had a bigger town, then we'd, we'd have more water that was treated and more water coming to us. They have pretty strict restrictions on what kind of water that they can put out that's treated. If it's got too much phosphorus in it, if it's got over a certain limit, then they just have to dump it down the gulch. They can't send it to us. Also, with the monsoons, when it pours like that, it overloads their system and they get a lot of uh, um, particulates in the water that they have to deal with, and sometimes that'll shut them down for a couple of days. Um, so. That can be bad if it rains all at once. We don't really get to use all of it because it's running down our drains. Since, uh, I guess, the golf course is open, they've had pretty substantial water uh, like cutbacks with the town. Like they've, they've tried to cut back on, no one can have a lawn in town. Um, people are trying to get the push button showers where you can turn the water off every time you're not really doing anything. And uh, all those things, they've actually had increase in population, but the the use, water use has actually stayed the same, so it's, it's kind of a, a double-edged sword. They're, they're saving a whole lot of water, but uh, we're not getting as much water as, as we could be if it was like a normal town, I guess. To maintain healthy turf and a desirable course, Ruiz instituted his own strict water regimen. Over the past 10 years, the rim has reduced its annual water usage by 3 million gallons. A lot of heads were, were uh, labeled wrong so they the computer didn't know what was out on the golf course so we getting all that stuff straightened out gave us the flexibility to to know what we were putting on the golf course and kind of what we could estimate what we were putting on the golf course um, we also ch recently changed all the nozzles out in the fairways we've also used the portable irrigation that helps us um, isolate areas that maybe we can if we turn that head up in those areas we'll water the fairway get the fairway wet and uh, um, we can keep that head down so the fairway doesn't get wet, but we can water the rough, get that supplemental irrigation out there. Um, and a lot of it was just manual adjustment too along the edges where it's spending a lot of time outside the, the course edge. If we bring that in, all those minutes that it's outside the, outside the course is, is wasted water basically. Two of the rim's more innovative water management techniques involved removing the turf right up to the sprinkler heads and using more focused pest and disease monitoring. One of the things that we did to help save, uh, to save water was to anticipate the insects. And what we do is we count degree days. Um, starting March 1st, we'll go through and we'll, we'll uh, count the degree days um, using a base temperature of 50 degrees. Each insect's a little different on the high and low threshold temperatures. But then we use that with the sine wave method to uh, calculate how many degree days we have and then use that on when we need to spray for insects. Uh, with diseases, we'll also use uh, leaf wetness um, period. We try to see how long the, uh, the leaf stays wet and then 
along with what the temperature is to kind of anticipate our diseases that way. And we can actually cut out sprays that maybe we would do on a calendar basis and we can cut those out and actually do it a little more accurately and that helps us save chemicals and then we get better control. I mean the efficacy is much better when you can time it properly and then we can save water out on the on the golf course. And when we're watering grass that's been uh, damaged by insects, the roots are trimmed, it takes more water to keep those areas green and alive. Over the past 10 years, Ruiz has refined many of the RIM's existing management practices, yet continues to maintain healthy turf and a desirable course.